Hello, my name is Sheriska Peterson and I'm coming to you from the University of Kansas Cancer Center. Um, today I'll be presenting on protein expression by IHC is associated with cyclin E and BRD4 gene amplification. High grade serous ovarian cancer is the most common subtype of ovarian cancer. Um, women diagnosed with HR proficient high grade serous ovarian cancer have poorer clinical outcomes and fewer treatment options than those with HR deficient ovarian cancer. HR proficient ovarian cancers make up about 50% of high grade serous ovarian cancers. Uh, cyclin E amplified ovarian cancer is a known poor prognostic subtype of this HR proficient ovarian cancer. And more recently, we've seen that BRD4 has also been shown to be associated with poor prognosis. Um, using TCGA data, our group has shown that co-amplification of cyclin E and BRD4 is associated with the worst overall survival than with either alone. We also noted that there is a significant overlap of both cyclin E and BRD4 in TCGA tumor, tumors and co-amplification was found in about 8% of tumors. We were also able to show that amplification in cyclin E and BRD4 was also associated with elevated protein expression. So given that finding, we aim to determine if cyclin E and BRD4 amplification could be identified on clinical samples using IHC. Our objective was to determine if protein expression by IHC could be used as a surrogate marker for cyclin E and BRD4 amplification as measured by FISH. Our study population was 78 primary tumors from stage three and stage four high-grade serous ovarian cancers collected between 2010 and 2016 at the University of Kansas Medical Center and created a tissue microarray from these tumors. Uh, the average age of diagnosis was 63 years of age. The median overall survival was 53 months and progression-free survival was 11 months. About 82% of patients had optimal debulking and 77% had platinum sensitive disease. <clears throat> the tissue microarrays were processed and analyzed by core facilities using standardized technique. Um, we used antibodies to both cyclin E and BRD4 to determine protein expression. Um, we then scored using staining intensity and the percent of positive nuclei and then created an H score um, based upon the staining intensity and the positive uh, percentage of nuclei. Um, we then obtained probes for second E and BRD4 for fish. Um, those were also stained per protocol. And um, then we scored using a ratio of greater than two for amplification for both second E and BRD4. Here are representative images of our IHC and FISH studies. Um, we found that cyclin E was detected in about 26% of tumors and BRD4 was detected in about 33% of tumors. We had co-amplification in about 11% of tumors. Um, most importantly, we, de we determined that elevated protein expression was associated with gene amplification for both cyclin E and BRD4. So in conclusion, cyclin E and BRD4 amplification by FISH was associated with higher protein expression on IHC of our clinical samples. Um, our next step is to determine if clinical outcomes are associated with amplification and or protein expression. Um, thank you for listening and also thank you to our TROP lab as well as our funders, which is the Ovarian Cancer Research Alliance and the NIH CTSA. Thank you.